Before Toyota became a big car company who built some cool cars which everybody knows, they started with a different business like many other companies. Sony for instance started with Saka a rice wine and in Nagoya Toyota is telling their story in their museum. And when I entered it was quite a surprise to see many many different weaving machines. The father of Mr. Toyota he actually started in the weaving business and made it really really big in Japan. So he invented some of the cornerstones of modern weaving. He started to automize it and in this uh, hall uh, they show you the very beginnings of the weaving in Japan and the high automated business it's today. And as maybe only few people know, uh, Japan before World War II was the uh, uh, biggest country for cotton production. The really cool thing about this museum is that they demonstrate you the machines. So they are not like standing around, but you still can see how machines work. And they are all in very, very good uh, conditions. So this was the first in, uh, invention of uh, Toyota's father, where he made the first automation step for weaving. So just using uh, the hands and the feet. And that was all. It speed up weaving quite a lot. Using the transmission belt made uh, weaving even much faster and less staff was required. Here you get the first idea on how well uh, Toyota actually advanced in um, making his machines more and more efficient. And finally you see the cutting edge technology. It's like super fast weaving and here you see what Toyota's next generation project was. Building a car. Of course, Toyota did not have to invent the car, but what they did, they just looked at General Motors and Ford and took the best from both brands and just copied it. And they produced everything on their own, so they learned every single detail how to build a proper car. Well, and this is the first model they have built. <coughs> Looks already quite decent. Up to this point, I already spent more than an hour in the museum <coughs> and I was really, really happy what I got for my $5. But what I became to see now really, really rocked. Technology fans, put on your seat belts. Toyota explains you in this museum every little detail how every component of their cars work. Whether it will be engines or gearbox, which you can try for yourself, or even the clutch, which usually is a totally hidden part and nobody has an idea how it's working. Also, Toyota is quite impressively showing how all the components work together. So from the engine over the gearbox and uh, the transmission shaft and ending at the differential uh, which uh, brings uh, the torque uh, to the wheels. However, this is not where Toyota stops. They even top the impressive demonstration of the technologies inside their car and they show you with large-scale machines how they uh, actually manufacture the cars as you can see here. This machine they actually assemble the body of the car so it's a ground plate they put the side plates and uh, the roof on it. Of course they cannot show the welding uh, since the sparks uh, would be too dangerous for the visitors but this is how it actually works in real life and they took the machines out of their production and just put them here into the museum. Wow! Incredible! Well, and just before you leave the museum, uh, Toyota gives you an idea about the unique um, hybrid technology and how they advanced. And maybe this is the car of the future from Toyota. Who knows? Well, if you're ever in Japan and you have the chance to stop in Nagoya, pay this museum a visit. It's really, really worth it.